Hey everyone, this is uh, Mike with Big Air Photo and Film. Hey everyone, on the last three days I've been uh, photographing uh, warrior sailing. I hope everybody can hear me through my mask. Strange times, huh? But anyways, yeah. So the last three days I've been photographing warrior sailing. It's been a great opportunity to get around other veterans that have, you know, that suffer from some of the things that I do. So it was kind of cool to uh, talk and interact with different people and just, you know, kind of hear their stories. It's been a great couple of days. And uh, this last day I was able to go sailing, you know, as a participant and not just as a documentarian. But uh, I really enjoyed all the time documenting, and I'm going to try to put together a little clip here, and I won't try to do too much because I really did just kind of did this just to kind of focus on, you know, the people shooting and things like that. But uh, I wanted to put together something just to kind of give you guys an idea of just, you know, different things you can do with your, you know, with your photography, different angles of it. And I would have never thought I would do sailing photography, but wow, it's just such an awesome way to meet other people, and it's kind of been used as a way to kind of, you know, a tool to, to move forward, so uh, that's been awesome. But yeah, anyway, so here, I'm going to roll a little B-roll, and then, uh, but yeah, great day, everybody. All right, peace out. Hey everybody, it's uh, Mike with Big Air Photo Film. Hey everyone, I just had to uh, step away from the yacht club over there just to kind of, this little park over here, just to take my mask off, kind of you know, walk around a little bit, catch my breath. There's a lot of groups going through there, the yacht club today. So uh, I, I saw there were a few youth groups and then there were a few adult groups as well. So instead of just kind of being part of that whole mix, I thought I'd just kind of step out. I think I got most of the shots that I need and stuff like that. I definitely didn't get nearly the amount of video that I wanted to just because I had an issue with my camera here that I... Uh, been vlogging with and stuff like that. It's been overheating and things along that lines. Not a big deal though. I had had an amazing time. Had a lot of great shots. And uh, I'm gonna head back to the house. Maybe just kind of give you a breakdown of just the different you know strategies that I use this time to uh, to shoot and you know maybe the equipment that I used and you know some of my thoughts behind it because uh, I had a really great time. And, and like I said, I, a big shout out to Warrior Sailing. Hey, I really appreciate you know this is a great opportunity. And uh, hey everyone, I'll talk to you back at the house. All right, peace out. Hey everyone, I just wanted to kind of go over some of the things that I, that I used, you know, as far as photographing sailing this time, and some of the things that I was thinking about when, when I was asked to do that. First, I was thinking, obviously, I'm going to be on a boat and it's going to be wet, like that. So, to keep my equipment dry was a big thing right off the bat. So what I did is I, I got a bunch of different dry bags, and I, uh, I actually took all of them with me. I didn't use the, these small ones this time because Honestly, it was pretty calm, and uh, I was able to control my bag and, and my camera pretty easily. So I wasn't, you know, and, and not to say don't, that's that's kind of a crappy reason not to use it too, is that, you know, I probably should have been using it because it doesn't take much for something to happen, and then then you lost your camera. And uh, and honestly, I, I should have probably took a little bit more care in that perspective. But um, what I did do is I did use a big bag a big dry bag this. The nice thing about this bag, I believe it's a it's a Mego bag, I believe. It's got a nice flat hard bottom, but the nice thing about that bottom is that it balances really nice. So I was able to work like here's my camera for instance that I used a lot. I was able to work from the bag itself. Be able to sit on you know on the bow of the boat and you know have my bag here with a little carabiner clipped. It worked out slick, you know, and it, it gave me what I needed for protection as far as my camera because I actually did use both my X-T3 and my X-T20 and I was a little reluctant with the X-T20 because it's not you know weather sealed 
like the X-T3 is. And I also use the, uh, here, I'm just gonna kinda show you my main setup. All right. All right, this is what I mainly use, this is my X-T3. And for the kind of the reasons I was saying before, it's a, it's a basically it's a weatherproof body and this lens is a 55 to 200, and this is also a weatherproof body, Fuji body. Another reason why I use this kind of setup too is uh, this has image stabilization. You're on the boat, the boat's moving, your subject's moving, so you have a lot of movement in between, you know, between you and the subject. So uh, having any kind of image stabilization really does help a lot. Um, also, the conditions too that you're shooting in, you know, for, for this sailing stuff, it was mainly during the early afternoon that I had the opportunity to shoot. So, you know, the sun's pretty, pretty, you know, pretty much right over top of you. It's pretty harsh and it's hard sunlight. So uh, you have to make a lot of, you know, just kind of adapt to that. So I, by doing so, I used that polarizing filter on here. Do I still have it on? Yeah. So you put a, by pulling, putting a polarizing filter on my lens, it takes all the glare out of the, out of the water itself. And even when, and then when the, it does get even maybe more so where I need to even knock it down farther, I can actually put another filter on top. And I, I didn't have to do it this time just because it didn't feel like I, I needed it at that point to uh, knock it down anymore. But uh, if I was to need it, I would could put a just a neutral density filter on there and maybe knock it down a stop or two just to give me a little bit easier or manageable, I should say, in, in to, way to manage the light, you know. So, uh, so yeah, so that was kind of my strategies. I did most of my shooting with the X-T3, but uh, I did uh, use the X-T20 a few little times to get some wider shots because I put the 18 to 55 on the X-T20, giving so, you know, like some of the some of the ones that I kind of pushed up against uh, right there as, as you pull into the uh, into the yacht club there. They were all taken with a, a wider angle, and you can kind of see that by the by the you know the shot style itself. And a lot of times with the with the uh, 55 to 200, it was nice because I was able to compress into images and just kind of move around the subjects. And it gave me a lot more flexibility. And a lot of it was to capture, you know, people, you know, doing their passion and, and you know, learning sailing, things like that. So, uh, you know, it was a great time. I really enjoyed documenting it. But uh, I thought that would kind of give you an idea. And what I did a lot of times is I would use my uh, low pro bag, being that it wasn't so, uh, rough and the seas weren't so bad and I can manage with this I was able to just kind of put this over stand in front of the boat there pull the camera out when I need it and I also was able to use my uh, different action cameras like for this uh this little action camera here these little TG4 this little Olympus TG4 I use this for like all the little filming and stuff like that just because it's really handy, it's waterproof, it's, you know, drop proof or shock proof, whatever you want to say. These are great little things to have. I, I have two of them actually. And uh, I do a lot of my vlogging with them and most of like any of the little video sequences that I did, I mainly did with, with these things during this. And honestly, I, I didn't take a lot of video just because I w wanted to make it more photo centric and just kind of, um, because, because that's what I was there for and that's what I wanted to spend most of my time with. And I wanted to give them you know my best product that I could even though you know even though video is a big part of my thing now it, it just didn't feel right so uh and, I, and that's what I kind of I'm sorry about this video it could have been probably a bit more interactive with actually being out there but there were like three or four different groups going on at the time we had kids groups out there we had other adult groups it was actually kind of chaotic and actually I wasn't really really into that it wasn't didn't seem like it was going to be a great place to, to set up and stuff like that but it gave me a chance to interact more talking with people kind of getting a feel for the whole community and stuff like that so I mean that part was really cool and and I'm just you know really glad that you know the opportunity that I had the opportunity to do this and uh yeah right on and like I said big shout out to Warrior Sailing hey guys I really appreciate it yeah it was, it was amazing you know and thanks for all that you do for veterans I really appreciate it and uh Everyone, I hope that you got something out of this. I know that it wasn't my traditional video, and I just kind of want to go over some of the things that I, that I use and some of the, some of my uh, thinking behind it. The cool thing about like not shooting sailing very often is that I, I don't shoot like another somebody else would shoot when they're shooting sailing, or whatever. Because you know, when I look at the other photographers that shoot just quote sailing, or whatever, 
they all kind of shoot the same way. I mean, they, they use the front of the bow of the boat and they're doing this and that. And they kind of all kind of, you know, get in the same stances and stuff like that. Well, I didn't know any of that, so I'm sure my stances are, you know, awkward to them or whatever. But I hope it draws a different perspective. So I'm going to put some more um, images here at the end and just kind of uh, just kind of show some more of the images that I took and some of the things that, you know, that I don't know, that, that I saw that I thought were, you know, were kind of cool that uh, a little bit of art mixed with a little bit of, you know, just a day in a life of kind of style. But uh, like I said, I really enjoyed it and it gave me an opportunity to uh, to do a lot of different things. All right, everybody, peace out. Hey, please subscribe, please follow, and uh, yeah, right on, everybody. All right, I will talk to you guys next time. All right, peace out.